folks, it's Beth here, talking from behind the camera with my power pointer. So you're gonna see my hand walking you through a brief review of the directions for a case clinic, which is going to happen within your coaching circle. And ideally, your coaching circle is going to meet once between each of the large virtual gatherings for a total of five times over time. So that way everyone has an opportunity to present a challenge. This is a challenge giver and perhaps see that challenge with fresh eyes. So each case clinic, there is a case giver, a challenge giver, and they are bringing a specific challenge to the group with the hopes that new insight and clarity and perhaps even direction might emerge from the process. And so the case that they are choosing to bring is reflective of living in this gap between we all have highest hopes for the future we want to create, and yet we so often find ourselves rather stuck in the current situation and it's just not getting us to where we want to be and so the challenge presenter is bringing such a case to the group in hopes that they have some wisdom and insight to help them move forward and so the very first step which will take about two minutes is that you clarify your roles and in the first case clinic, someone's just going to jump in. So someone's going to say, I'll be the case giver. And then after that, each of you will have a little bit more time to sort through what is your challenge and how to form an intention statement. But often in the very first case clinic, you need to decide who is the case giver and a case giver is choosing a situation that they're currently facing. It's concrete, it's really important, and a big difference might come from having some new insight and perspective. And the case presenter is in it. They have a key role. So it's not a hypothetical situation. It's not someone else's problem. It's your problem and you're the one living in this gap and you're trying to find your way through. So there are several other roles that other coaches need to take. One is a timekeeper, so you should have a clock for that. Another person will keep a written record, will take notes of the entire conversation and a third person will make a graphic recording so they're, they're going to want to have some markers and some paper ready to go. Okay, so the next step is an intention statement. And the case giver has 15 minutes to basically lay out the situation they're in. They will describe the current situation and what the challenges that they are up against. They'll identify who some other stakeholders are and how they view the situation. This is really important and that is the intention. What is the future that you want to create that you know is possible, but man, you just can't get there. So for example, you know it's possible for people to have rich and full lives in the community communities in which they live, especially during the day, but darn, it just seems like all you guys are doing is, is scheduling activities and trying to keep staff in place and just get through the day. And isn't there something more to find to strengthen our ability to do what our intention is? And the case giver also wants to talk about their own threshold. And so one thing that makes this process different from other kinds of 
problem solving conversations is the caseworker is being vulnerable and self reflective and asking what is my learning edge and that may be what do i need to let go of what do i need to learn but you're basically turning the camera back on yourself and you're asking why am i now facing this situation and what is the situation inviting me to let go of and to learn and then finally the case giver is clarifying where they feel like they need help and how the other coaches might be of greatest assistance so there's a few things that are important for coaches to remember you're basically listening you're practicing going into a deeper level of listening so you are really trying not to interrupt to give advice and to go off on your own situations now that said there might be some clarifying questions that are really important to ask so if you can keep that part short the main thing is you don't want to take away from the person living with the situation getting as deep into it as possible during those 15 minutes so then you're going to go move into frankly what is the most important aspect of this process and that is silence the group is going to hold the situation for 3 minutes there you will hold the silence to connect to listen for the resonance of the entire story within each of you and you want to do that with your mind and your heart and your whole self and you just want to see if you can connect to an image or a feeling or even a gesture that you are experiencing having listened at a deeper level to the case giver's dilemma and you are truly i'll just say for the first minute of the 3 minutes of silence i my mind is often chattering away and i'm trying to find something clever to say and if i can just let myself move through that and drop deeper i'm always fascinated by some image or feeling that emerges that might not even make very much sense but interestingly enough in sharing that it often provides some insight and connects to some wisdom that the case giver will discover and that brings us to the fourth step which is 10 minutes so the alarm goes off your silence and there is 10 minutes for the coaches to mirror for the case giver the images feelings and movements that they experienced and so each coach takes a few minutes and provides an example for example an image that came i was seeing listening to the situation and imagining that you were part of a coral reef that had broken off from the big reef and i was worried at first that life in that fragment was dying and then as i looked closer i realized it was teeming with life it was just floating now it was no longer attached to the bigger structure oh what does that mean i have no idea but i'm going to trust that by sharing it maybe that is going to have value for the case giver or maybe a feeling that i had like oh gee i just felt the weight of the world as you were talking it's so heavy and 
I wondered if there was just a way to let some of that weight go. Or it, there may be a movement or a gesture that emerged. Um, so you're just mirroring these reflections back. You're still not giving advice. Please don't give advice. And in the last couple of minutes, the case giver receives the images from the coaches and responds. So then you move into the most interactive section of the case clinic, and that is generative dialogue. It's going to last for 20 minutes. And this is where everyone gets to reflect on the mirroring and um, the challenge giver's reflections. Perhaps you surface new perspectives and new possibilities. You build on each other's ideas and perhaps ask some more questions too. But basically, you're still not trying to fix a situation and you are not trying to be an expert. You are just open to exploring new possibilities and yeah, ideas with each other. You wanna be careful to share the time and be sure that everyone has airspace during that 20 minutes to uh, offer some perspectives. Okay, and then finally, we're moving into the very last phase, closing remarks about eight minutes. Initially, the coaches will offer some closing remarks and they may be one or all three of an insight or a summary that represents an idea, which we think of as open mind, reframing new ideas, summarizing, open heart, some fresh energy and possibility that you see or imagine, or open will. Gee, maybe here is a next step that might make sense. And the case giver finishes the closing remarks by making their own statement that is reflective of what they heard, new ideas, perhaps energy that was clarified, and action they can imagine. And then finally, and you really want to take the time for this, is journaling number seven. It's only two minutes, but it's important that each of you take some time to capture what the key takeaways from this situation are for you. Because honestly, in all the uh, case clinics I've ever been a part of, there is some aspect of the case givers challenge that is always similar to something that I am up against. It may be a totally different context, totally different situation, but I can see myself and feel myself grappling with the same gap and also most importantly having some insight about what might shift in order to support being more effective in the situation that I'm in. And so if you have time, I would try to leave another 10 minutes after the hour is up so you don't just jump off the call that is a good time to debrief and to share what came up for you. And yeah, just appreciate the case giver's courage and their vulnerability to explore the situation. And honestly, when all is said and done, that is really what you are all doing together. What you're doing together is you're holding each other in your search for something new you're holding each other with compassion and care and understanding of what you're up against and also understanding that where you want to be and where you are now, that where you are now is not getting us, not just this person, but all of us where we want to be and that we don't want to lose sight of that more beautiful future.
that we're imagining together. And by supporting each other, we stand a greater chance of finding our way with insight and wisdom and courage. So we look forward to learning from you what comes from your time together.